Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And uh, of course, um, we talked about the famous blue screen and unsupported processor error message this week. Now, we have seen that mostly MSI motherboards seem to be affected. Microsoft came back today and said that, first of all, the uh, problem with the unsupported processor blue screen error is not due to the update and has nothing to do with the Windows update that was pushed, but with OEMs, or the or original equipment manufacturer um, firmware and UEFI firmware and uh, the way that they actually are uh, configured. So MSI is the first company to come back saying, hey, I've, um, you know, I, um, here's the way that you can revert back to, uh, you know, the um, older, um, BIOS firmware and to fix this problem. According to Microsoft, MSI could not be the only one affected. Um, Microsoft says if you have a blue screen and it says unsupported processor, contact the vendor of your machine. So whatever company that you purchase the machine from, um, it is something that has to be fixed by them now you know this is always a problem when companies actually go from back and forth it's your fault my fault not my fault your fault or whatever but um for now it really seems to be only msi everybody that on the channel actually has said that they've seen the error message have confirmed that it's msi that is the um the motherboard that they have so i would guess right now but I haven't seen any reports of any other vendors, any other manufacturers of motherboard having that issue. But if you do have that problem, problem is not the update. Problem is the um, motherboard firmware. Now, one thing, if you did revert back, because I saw some of you say, well, I reverted back, you know, removed the update. Uh, of course, it will be reinstalled with the Patch Tuesday updates of security. Uh, until now and that patch Tuesday update, uh, try to find a way to revert back that, um, especially on MSI. They have a video on the link that I actually has shared in a previous video where they show you how to revert back to the previous UEFI firmware BIOS update to fix the problem. So uh, maybe do that so that when you get to patch Tuesday, it won't be a problem because Microsoft obviously has nothing to fix. As they say, it's not their problem. So hopefully from between now and Patch Tuesday of September, you'll be able to have that fixed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.